let's draw a cute pumpkin, shall we? Let's get ready for October. Hey, listen, so we're gonna start with a really, really light pencil line. I'm gonna make a shape that's a little bit more narrow on the top and a little bit wider on the bottom. It really doesn't have to be perfect because no pumpkin is perfectly round. So there's my shape. You get to choose how you want to do the stem. I'm gonna do the stem that's kind of like a irregular triangle, a little bit like that. And hey, I guess kind of his body is a little bit like a triangle too, if I were to cut all the edges off. Let's see, I'm gonna make it a little darker. Correct some of my lines here. You know, I sort of like it when things aren't quite so perfect anyway. Now, he needs a face. What do you think? Is this gonna be a face like he's in a live pumpkin or like a jack-o'-lantern? What do we think? I think let's make him have a really fun, alive face. Then we'll turn it over and we'll do a jack-o'-lantern on the back. How about that? Let's give him a really big round nose. Here's the top kind of like a flat C on its side. And then watch this, a little C in the middle. And then I'm gonna have a bump come out here, almost like a teardrop shape on the side. And then a teardrop shape on this, on its laying on its side. Ooh, and then he needs his two little wings on the outside of his nose. Woo, that's a big old nose. I think I'll color those in because that's his nostrils. And then it's kind of dark inside our nostrils. Let's draw a backwards J right here without the top going across. Okay. His eyes are gonna go like this. Rainbow. And then rainbow. And then I'm gonna draw almost a straight line going across, but it's a little bit curved. What do you think? Now I'm gonna put the circles in his eyes, but you're not gonna be able to see the complete circle. It's gonna start here at the top. Why don't you watch and then do it? Press pause. So here's my circle. It's gonna to touch the bottom and then the top of the circle is gonna get cut off. And then here's this one over here, it's gonna match. I guess this eye's a little smaller. It makes it look like its head's turned, huh? So these circles are cut off on the top, but they're touching the line on the bottom. Now in the middle, I'm gonna put another circle. But this time I can see the whole thing. Can you see the whole thing on yours? Now I need a highlight inside that. That's called the pupil. There's a highlight that I'm going to keep white, so the rest of the pupil is going to be black. Highlight stays white, the rest of the pupil is black. Oh, he's so cute. Let's give him eyebrows, shall we? Whoop! Little one's way up high. He's a cute guy. Let's come down to the mouth. Let's make, right underneath that J, I'm gonna make kind of an open and flat V. Then I'm gonna bring it out for some long lines on the side, and then it's gonna curve up. And then it's gonna curve up. Let's draw that shape again, just a little bit lower, and it's gonna connect on the sides. So kind of a V, then it's gonna go all the way and connect. That's his upper lip, that's his top lip. Everybody touch your top lip right now. You have two lips, let's make the other lip. I'm gonna make a line come down here. And there's a big pumpkin. What, you want his mouth open to see his teeth? Okay, okay. So let's draw his lower lip. 
start again at the corner and bring it down. This is a little straighter and bring it across. Okay, so you said you wanted to see teeth. Now I'm going to draw the top teeth marks right here. Color the rest black. You can only see his top teeth. Oh, what a cutie guy. Now, I want to draw some ridges on this pumpkin. Just so it, we know that he's a pumpkin, he's going to have some lines that kind of curve up like this. It's kind of hard to draw those, huh? Now, coming down off the top, I'm going to draw a, a swirly line like that on one side and it's going to come up and curl this way. That's the vine that he grew on. I'm going to make it a double line. Whoopsie, we need to make sure that's not see-through. Double line on both sides. This one comes to a point. This one, however, we're going to turn this into a leaf. Let's act like we're drawing a heart. We're not going to totally make it a heart because then we're going to kind of add some wiggles in our heart. I know a really special dog named Wiggles. Do you see the wiggles? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And then I'll just put a line right down the middle. Maybe some grass. And he's done. What a cute guy. Okay. I said we would draw a jack-o'-lantern next. You can turn it over or you can grab a new piece of paper. A jack-o'-lantern starts out the same way. Except I'm going to draw this jack-o'-lantern really fat. See how I'm drawing, starting with really, really light lines? It's because I don't really know where I want my lines to be. These are called searching lines. Okay. Now that I've found my lines, I'm going to make it a little darker, or a lot darker, I guess. See, I have a couple, a bump on the bottom, or a couple bumps on the bottom. Put in my stem. Now, let's draw our eyes. This we're going to act like somebody cut out um, out of the pumpkin uh, a face. We could have different faces, but this is one of my favorite ways to draw a face. We're going to add an eyeball. You know what's kind of funny? When we make one bigger than the other. Looks like he's making a funny face. The nose is an upside down triangle. And here's the mouth. Stop! Add a tooth. And finish. Come down to the bottom line. Curve. Oh! Add a tooth. You can add as many teeth as you want. Oh! Add a tooth! Tooth. What a cutie. He can kind of have lines like the other guy, but all of these are just your own personal choices. And then you can take your markers and color it in. I'm just going to show you what the black eyes look like colored in and you can choose any kind of orange to color in the rest of your pumpkin. Do you have a colored pencil or an oil pastel? Do you maybe have some markers or paints? If you're thinking paints, make sure that you used the right paper first.
if you use black first and you're using markers, make sure your orange doesn't get all mixed up in the black. I guess I kind of like to outline first and then fill it in. How do you like to color with markers? When I outline it first, it makes me feel like I can color it faster because then I can go like this and I don't have to worry about my edges being straight. See how those edges aren't straight? And I can go right up next to the edge without getting it messy. He's so cute. I wonder what I'll name these guys. Do you think they know each other? That's fun. Show me what you do. I really would like to see.